when Dad died, he had this shit block he's really proud of. Before Tumblr was even a thing. And you thought, he just invented space travel because he was being in for days. Going upstairs to put another post on. Gotta keep up my views, son. He would look at me like, see, we understand each other. If I told him that, no fucker in their right mind wants to know about a middle age running clubs. And he said, that's where you're wrong, son. That's where you're so very wrong. We'd say that a lot. And I tried not to let me get to him because for some reason I used to like to undermine him, even though I loved him. He signed up for the London Marathon. He linked it to his just given page and it was like he landed on the moon. Mum said it was unfair that a man that fit was just dropped down dead. And her friend said, it's always the ones you least suspect. And I told her to go fuck herself. In my head. Because everyone looks really hard at you when it's your father's funeral. Sharon did a lot of fainting, which was annoying. And Mum kept holding my hand, saying, Thank you for keeping it together. We need you to keep us all together. So, I decided that I wasn't going to be what they needed. Online, there are people who create Facebook pages for dead people, loved ones, relatives, pets. Mum wanted me to make a page on his blog to tell people what happened. They need to know, she said. They're not pen pals, Mum. That's not how it works. They think he just gave up blogging for a bit. I rolled my eyes at her for a full stop. Sometimes I did check it, just to see if he had any more views. But then I realised. Who was the one making the counter go up? <laughs> 